Hey everybody, welcome back to another PAL Play Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we got the Magma Mitts after fighting the Magmanos, I believe they were called, and saving the Magma that it was in there. I think that was lead. I'm not sure though. Now, anyway, in this episode, we, uh, well, right before we ended it off last time, we came into this room, and that's where we ended it off. So, we have to. Uh, our goal is to get through this locked door. So, what the magma mitts do is they allow us to burrow underground. So, let's check some of these dig spots and see if maybe we can burrow underground to find a secret. It doesn't look like these ones are holding much reward besides Elden Ore. And, I, got, I gotta ask, do the magma mitts actually make your digs better? Because you saw there, I got a bunch of blue and red rupees, and then I got a treasure here. I'm wondering if it actually makes the stuff that you get better. Huh. You guys could mention that in the comments. Okay, so we just have to burrow down the ground here. Now, if we press Z to look above ground, we can see that we're roughly below the gate. We're right next to the gate. In fact, you can see the underground portion of it there. And there's a switch here, so last, uh, last time we learned how to punch... So if you punch it, then you can um, progress through that locked, formerly barred path. Now, speaking of punching, that's something I think that the Zelda series could gain from. If it had a little bit more freedom of um, attack without just your sword, picture if it had some sort of like Assassin's Creed, Assassin Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed controls, you know, with maybe hand-to-hand -hand combat, but also you could use a sword and possibly a shield. Or maybe a game where you could switch characters and those characters had different fighting styles. Similar how you could do that in Majora's Mask. That's something that I think the ser that this series could... Whoa. Hey, bro. Could uh, benefit from. Man, we just ne snuck up on him. I'm surprised he didn't even hear us come through the, through the door. Now, this, this will open up a path that we've been to before, so if you want to leave the temple and you're worried that you're going to have to go all the way around, well, you don't have to backtrack as much. You can just go through here and skip some stuff. So if you want to leave now, you can, although there's a place further up that it's easier to leave, so I would hold out till then. Now anyway, there are some... I've never actually had Fee bio these guys, I don't think. But there are some bow bokoblins, or some bokoblins, I guess we could call them, guarding the way. Easy to take them out. I'm actually trying to uh, save that guy up there, because I want to have Fee bio him. Now, was there a secret here? For some reason, I seem to remember there being a piece of heart here. I don't know why I think that, but I just seem to remember a piece of heart here i'm gonna try drawing a heart because i i think that if there is one here i think that's how you get it i don't know if i'm just going crazy but i just seem to have it in my mind that there was a heart a piece of heart here whoa well i guess there wasn't but man that's a lot of hearts okay he's trying to bug us why do we need these bombs what purpose do these bombs have? I'm gonna try... Whoa. Throwing them over here. I'm also gonna try throwing one over here. Just to see. I'm just curious. That did nothing. That did nothing. Okay. I saw the pattern of the floor um, continue on underneath this wall. So I, I just had a theory, but... Nope. It never hurt to test it, though. Okay, so let's... We're gonna have to hurry. Claw shot up here. And... Claw shot up here! Shoot! Oh. Well, we lost a little bit of our hearts. Oh, they're just called Green Bokoblins. Archer. 
This variety of Bokoblin inha inhabits caves and or indoor environments. It has archery skills roughly equivalent to the surface-dwelling Red Bokoblin. Also similar to the surface-dwelling Red Bokoblin, the Green Bokoblin obsesses about stylish undergarments. What is it? Yeah, I know. What is it with with the Bokoblins and undergarments in this game? Or underpants, they're not... Well, there are undergarments, but that just fee... That's just fee speak. Oh. <laughs> Why did we need this? Why did we need this text box game? You got an arrow. You can reuse it with your own bows, so there's no reason to let it go to waste. Also, that's a really, really weird arrow. Like, it doesn't have even correct fletching. It's more like a crossbow bolt with like some feathers on the tip on the back. What what kind of arrow is that? That arrow probably wouldn't even no, actually that arrow would just fly like a spear. It wouldn't stay airborne for long. Man, these these uh Bokblins seem to obsess about two things. One, underpants, and two hanging magmas from chains apparently oh yeah you've come at the right time pal please i don't know where who you are or where you came from but i need uh but i need right now but what i need right now is for you to get me off of this chain i'm kind of in a hurry bro i'm trying to keep up my streak I'm not asking you to do it for nothing, though. Set me free, and I'll tell you uh, the big, gigantic secret about this room. It's a secret about treasure, okay? Well, if it's a secret to everybody, I don't care, because I've already heard that secret, and it wasn't that good. Actually, can we... Sh what happens if we use this on him? Oh, it actually does stuff, okay. Um... Do we have anything else? We could blow him up, but I don't think we could... I'll try shooting him, just real quick. Okay, nothing. Nope. Yes, I know. Yeah, I got I got your hot tip, and I'm gonna try. Try my hardest. Okay, so we can go underneath, uh, I mean, not underneath. We can go through here, but it looks like we are going to have to go underground in order to trigger the gate. So let's do that. Keep, get our bearings here. So we have to back up. Uh, looks like we have to head down and around. Actually, no. Wait. Just wait. Uh, we don't want to trigger this, the switch right here. Or do we? No, I think what we need to do is flip this switch over here. And I actually think we need to switch them both. So... We can switch them both. I'm really, really glad that they didn't uh, make you go into first person view here. You can't, you actually can't even go into first person, but I'm glad that wasn't a thing because that would have been horrible. Can we punch through these? No, we can't even turn to face them. Punch that. And let's see, did that block off our, our exit? And also, is there an exit down here? No, there is not. So let's just back up all the way. And it did block our, our exit there, but because we turned this gate, we flipped this, this gate over, we can um, go straight up and avoid that and go up. And this is blocked from us, but this is not. And we should have gone... What's in there? Well, I should have gone in there. I'll, I'll do it. I'll probably cut to it. After I open the store, I'll cut to it. Just open the door. Flip the frog switch. Turn off the fire nozzles. And I'll be right back, because I'm going to open that gate. Okay, here we are. Now, we just have to turn a left over here, and... No, it doesn't go underground. It's just one singular heart. So that wasn't even worth it. But I'll, I'll hit the walls real quick. To make sure that there's no secret. No, it looks like we're good. I'll look up just to make sure. And yeah, we're fine. Okay, let's continue on through um, through the 
fire gate. This is real. And let's go ahead and flip the switch. Because we're late. Uh, we'll flip it with the whip because we're lazy and we don't want to jump. Everybody knows the song, White People Can't Jump. Well, it's it's kind of true. At least this one can't. Oh, yeah. Why am I doing Vegeta? <laughs> oh, yeah. That is the sweet, sweet flavor of freedom. Haas? What's Haas mean? And, uh, hey, hey. Thanks for taking the trouble trouble to free me, sucker. You really think I would divulge super secret info about treasure? My mama didn't pit raise no patsy. I spent I spent too long finding that info. Huh? Those gloves are from my brother's secret collection. Are you friends with my brother or something? Yeah, I've saved him. And if he, it's lead, then I've saved him twice. Wait, wait, wait. There's something I want to give you. I'll just go get it. Wait here. What a jerk. He was just gonna... Not help us. Here, take this. This is he this here is some super, super secret info that I put together. Took some real sweat and work, too. I had to survey this place near a hundred times to figure it out, but... You ready for this? Now don't go fainting when I tell you. Right around here, there is... Dun dun dun! A hidden room. Well, that's not that's not really that secret, but whatever. So in return, please don't tell anyone that I was captured. It'll just be our little secret, okay? Well, ain't that the lowest of the low? And here I, I thought I was being polite. Oh. Hey, we meet again. And I'm, I'm going to stop doing the same voice for all of them. I'm not that racist. Also, his hair. He has horns. Ugh. Hey, we meet again, bro. <laughs> Sorry, but I kind of happened to overhear that conversation. It seems like one of the guys that was giving you a hard time. Sorry about that, man. But that stuff he was saying was all true, brah. There's a breeze coming from somewhere in this room, I tell ya. I saw the breeze. It was rainbow. There were ponies. And I saw dead people. <laughs> I figure the information in that chest would be useful to ya. And as he creepily watches, we'll look in the chest. You got the dungeon map. You can roll it up and make a scar. <laughs> That's horrible, I'm sorry. <laughs> it shows the layout of the area and reveals unexplored rooms. Uh... Oh, so there's the flame, so we're actually not that far. This room has a fake wall somewhere, bro. All the other ones close in on you, but this one, this one's nice, and it's not a square. And on the other side of that wall, there's another room, or so I hear, from the grapevine. The ground underneath is full of monsters, so don't go tolling too much down there, but if you're feeling adventurous, then you, the, there just might be a hidden route. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see your name so I can remember. Okay. Oh, Silva. It's Silva, everyone. It's Silva. <laughs> I, I, now I need to have uh, Ryan Photoshop some um, awesome DJ glasses on, uh, sunglasses on him, and like a a, to a top hat on each of his horn hair things. His name is Silva. He is a treasure hunter of the magma and sub... Uh, subterranean mole race. He explains exceptional pride for his long hair, bro. Also, he has sort of a soul patch goatee thing going on. Mm-hmm. Also, his red nose. I can see he's going for uh, a certain deer who was excluded from the group. But we should all act as if we all have red noses, bro. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave him now because I'm just being strangely suspiciously weird so where 
Well, let's look at our map instead of me just instead of me just hitting all of the walls in this building or room. So it looks like it's straight ahead. Let's hit the. Oh, so this one is a fake wall that actually doesn't reveal itself. So unless you plant bombs on every single wall, you wouldn't have found out on your own. Okay, let it bl let it go, let it go, let it blow. Good. And let's walk through, and there's a tunnel. Also, that's a thick wall. These bombs are really powerful. I mean, it wasn't like those wall most of the walls that we blow up in the past. This one, this one was legit, a legit wall. Now, um, we see a new enemy. These are. Um, I'll put it on screen right now. That's what they are. Whatever it is on screen, that's exactly what they are. I completely agree with my assessment of them. Because I know this game. But anyway, what you have to do is you have to uh, um, hit them from behind. Hit that red bulbous tail of theirs that grows back. Now, if they see you, they'll charge forward and try to bite you. So you want to kind of stay out of sight. And punch him. And let's go this way. Try to head him off the pass. There we go. Okay. We're on his tail and run. He's going really fast. There we go. He's dead. It only takes three hits, as in pretty much every game in the world. It takes three hits to do them in, and this guy's no exception. Also, why is this little thing here? I never got that. It's on, like, most of the tunnels. There's just this little outlet right here that does nothing. Like, you can punch it. It does nothing. I don't get it. I mean, it's not like it's there for you to turn around, because, as you can see here, I can turn around without that being there. I just don't understand why that's a thing and I'm, it's like in every single tunnel you'll ever go in too so it just it's one of the things of this game that just doesn't make sense it's as if they meant to do something with that with that thing with that outlet alcove that's a better word with that alcove but they just never got around to it and they just left it in the game for no reason at all I don't know it's just one of the strange things of this game. Now, anyway, now that we're in the secret room... Also, where is the secret room? Where is it? Oh. We haven't gone here yet. So, it's like a spirally... Spirally? Spirally. I'm starting to talk like Silva. It's a spirally uh, staircase. Almost reminiscent of uh, Toilet Princess. Also, I'm really proud of the fact that I said reminiscent without even thinking twice. Oh, can I tell you what was in there? Me, I'm going to go explore this room a little more, bro. I also need to report to the boss for, for that guy who ran off. So he didn't know the magma that ran off? Huh, I thought you guys were like all tight. For some reason, I always picture them as sort of like that Italian family that lives in your neighborhood that you always think has some ties to the mob even if it's just di they're distant but you could never prove you know everybody has that neighbor like even i had that neighbor once i had like a a family that lived next door and they you know they were i believe i'm pretty sure they were italian and they just something felt mobbish about them I mean, it's not the fact that they were Italian. It was everything about them. It was just, I don't know. It was just something that I never quite pinned. Also, <laughs> if any of my neighbors watch this, they're probably going to be like, my old neighbors watch this. They're going to be like, was it me? <laughs> and if one of my neighbors comments, I uh, please don't mention anything about me. <laughs> Because I don't want the other mob family to try and question me. <laughs> uh, I'm just being really weird in this episode. Maybe it's because... No, I can't, I can't think of anything random that it might be because. 
Also, you guys are in perfect sync. Because your animations are spot on. I, I was trying to hit your buddy, but if you'll, you'll take a blow for him, that's fine. Oh, oh, I hit him. Beautiful shot. You got to see the whole flight of it. And also, the cur the uh, the dark keys in there were just like, what is going on? Why is Fred dead? Okay, so anyway, where should we go first? Oh, actually, we can't go down there. There's a fruit up here, but we can't actually go downstream because there is no current. It's just basically a gigantic pool. And I'm just looking at the time, and I don't really see a place where we can end off, so we'll continue on for a little bit. I'm having fun. This is just one of those episodes that, you know, I've ha I lost track of the time, and I'm just like, oh, well, we're having fun, so we'll keep, keep going. Okay. Get some hearts. Can we go underground here? No, we can't. Just hearts. We'll save those for later. What do we have in our inventory? Okay. We're good. Uh, I was just wondering what we had in, in the way of health, life gain. Okay. There's... Oh, okay. So what we have to do is... Can we hit that with our whip? No. We hit him. J we're just out of range. So let's go ahead and use our bow. I really like the bow. It's probably my favorite... Oh, snap. Can we outrun the the thing? Well, time will tell. Oh, I guess not. Oh, a magma. Okay. Man, there are a lot of these guys, and they're all unique. They're not just like reskins or retextures. Re they're just, well, retexture would technically be a new uh, magma, but these guys really differ. Ah, uh, so busy, so busy. Burning the, burning the midnight oil again, looking for loot. I'm gonna call him, uh, Sydney. I'm guessing he has a buddy named Peter. Also, how do he see us from around a corner? Oh, snap. He trapped us in. Okay, let's chase him down. Ah, green monster. Ack, I can't believe they're following us down here. I guess I can have some fun with him for now, though. Hey, hey, hey! You're on magma, magma turf now, fiend. You may be scary, but as long as you're as the way ahead of me is clear, you can never catch me. Okay, so we have to chase him. Okay, he's gonna turn. No, Link. Yes. Link almost didn't want to do it, but he magically teleported us. Uh, teleported us out. No, you got me. Go ahead, go on then, you monster. Boil me, bake me, do your worst. Sheesh, bro. You're kind of... Oh. He's... Wait, what's that? Oh, I was going to make a pun, but I forgot the expression. Huh? I know those gloves. It seems like these items were, a, were very good for us to get. Not just because of their usefulness, but because the magmas are more friendly with us because of them. Ain't those from my brother's secret collection? Man, he... Lead? I'm just gonna call him Lead, because I'm not sure who he is, but... Lead has a lot of brothers. Well, <laughs> I guess if he's Italian... You know, they... Don't they call, like, all of their people brothers? Or do they... No, that's cousin. Sorry. It's like... Fat Tony's... He's everybody's cousin. And then there... And then it's never the... Well, I guess there's a father of the mob, but... More likely, it's the uncle. It's usually just cousins and uncles and maybe one father. Anyway, he gave me him. What? You know my brother? Ah, you're all green. I thought you were a monster. Ah, uh, don't get all angry. I thought you were one of them. Sorry, guy. Let me give you something good to make up for it. Hang on there a sec. These guys are really friendly. Also, it's impressive that he's man he manages to keep all the rupees in in his uh back chest in there. Here you go. You know, some monsters seem to be looking for something on these cliffs ahead of us. You heading that way too, guy? You take care out there. Don't want to see you get 
get skewered or anything. Me? I'm heading back to the boss's place. See? He calls him the boss. Just, I'm noting that they call him the boss. Anyway, I'll open the door for you while I'm at it. See ya. Well, these magmas have been really useful to us. Also, is that... Hopefully that's platform... Has it? No, it hasn't. Okay. So we'll have to shoot again. Now, I'm not actually going to end it off quite yet, because I did cut some of this out, so we have a little time left. Oh, and he gave us a piece of heart, so that's actually, I think, the first required piece of heart we've ever seen. That music startled me. That's like the first required piece of heart we've ever seen. So that's cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. So the purpose to opening that gate was is we had to chase down this uh, this platform in order to uh, in order to get to here, where all the monsters have been. One. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And um, now, actually, because we're at a stopping point, a.k.a. a bird statue, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you so much for watching. And check this alcove out. Nothing? Okay. Thank you so much for watching. And next time on Skyward Sword, we're going to go down there. Because that's where we need to go. Hidden behind the bird statue is our destination. An X mark in the ground. I'll see you guys then. Also, where's the furthest we can shoot? Right through there. Ah. Just a second. There we go. Okay, you guys got another skill shot. See you guys next episode.